and we move at light speed. Last of a dying breed, my Aki's move at light speed. I can feel eyes on me everywhere I go. Not paranoid or conceited, but they Samuel 20 colon 1 2. The revolt was crushed. In biblical times, the tribe of Benjamin was militarily very proficient and very good with the sling. Judges 2016. Benjamin fought a civil war against all the other tribes and was almost exterminated. Judges 21 colon 6. The war was caused as a result of sexual deviations on the part of some of the Benjaminites who attempted to sexual assault a male sojourner and then mass raped his concubine causing her death. Judges 19 colon 22 27. In Belgium in 1989 the Dutru affair uncovered the existence of a pedophile ring that kidnapped, raped, tortured and murdered infants. The highest echelons of Belgian society were involved in this scandal and attempted to whitewash the affair. On October 20, 1996, 350,000 Belgian citizens took to the streets of Brussels dressed all in white, demanding the reform of a system so corrupt that it would protect the abusers, rapists, torturers, and killers of children. Belgium received its name from the Belgi who were named after Bella, pronounced Bella A.G.H., the founder of a clan in Benjamin, Genesis 46, 21. The Belgi in Gaul were also noted for their use of the sling. Tribes of the Belgi were also present in Britain and Ireland. Many claim that Benjamin is prominent in Norway. There is something in this and the Normans did in part once dwell in Norway. Norway, however, as a whole was dominated by Naphtali. I'm ready. Oh God, I'm ready. Let us rain like confetti. Lord, we ready. Dropping bombs, Serengeti. You was there for me when I spiraled out of control. Made it clear to me there's eternal battles for souls. It's such a rarity to find people that's helping you grow. I seek the Almighty shedding off all my ego. And that light steady shining like wherever he go Everywhere. Yeah, them haters think I'm finished, I cock back and reload Ooh. But vengeance is the Lord's, that's the holy credo Yeah, we reap what we sow, the world created this anger uh, uh, Keep that uh, truth, uh, music banging, but I ain't twisting my fingers I ain't scared of the danger, you see these warrior angels So engulfed in this wisdom, don't waste no time with the schisms Don't come with precision, won't hang around like a gizzard You'll know the value of time, when you see the king has Lord risen king. More graceful than the dove, but I'm solid and rigid the Lord is blessing his shepherds, this is more than a record Let the word be our reverence, got a good recollection I was poor, blind, and naked Now it's time to breathe life, no need for contraception Keeping it real, in a fake world, kind of perplexing No COVID, but the Holy Ghost is highly infectious On the road of life, it'll make you change your direction If your foes always watch and tell them viewers discretion But I'm ready, oh God I'm ready Let us rain like confetti, Lord we ready Dropping bombs, Serengeti. This cross is heavy, but I can't drop it. You won't let me. But God, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready to see the kingdom. Tired of dreaming, dropping bombs like Willie Beeman. I feel like Enoch, judging demons. We got them screaming. The world is a stage. We can hear them from the bleachers. It's such an eye to see the reasons that we take to the streets. Peace and harmony, the only way we'll ever be free. Trying to rise out these graves when the plot is so deep. Reading ancient scrolls from this road, you shall eat. About to get these precepts and just have me a feast. Lord, I'm ready. Oh, God, I'm ready. Let us rain like confetti. Lord, we ready. Good day, brothers and sisters. Now... You're probably going to have to hit pause so you can read if you want to read. But this is a book I'm starting called Prayers. And pretty much what it says right there on those pages right there are going to explain what and how I will be writing in this book. 
And the whole, when I do this, I'm trying to show you the faces that are made from my writing, from how I write. And then this little thing I just learned in the spirit to shake the camera back and forth and it kind of makes it blurry. It kind of gives you a better perspective of what kind of picture to see. In this video, I will be kind of talking about fake Christians. If you go to the chapter, or should I say in the book of the Third Testament, which the Forerunner of the Guardians, Book of True Life, Message from Mary, Four Books of the New Era. If you go there to page 109, chapter 15, it says, Mistaken Teachings of the Church. Uh, it continues on and talk. Then there's another chapter, is Religious Fanatics, uh, Doloration of the Doctrine of Jesus Christ and its Consequences, Mistaken Evolutions, and just say the mistaken evolution of Christianity. And that's pretty much where I'm, if you would like to find a reference in a dusty book to what I am about to tell you, that is where you can go to reference what I'm about to say. Is why in the fabric of my being throughout my whole life, even before I admitted in knowing the Christ spirit, God's spirit, our creator, whom I call my father, who you call your father. I have never, ever been guided or led to go to a church. The reason why is because inside of a church is a building where repetitive ritual of the sacrifice of a man is being pretty much it's, it's being celebrated on a weekly basis. How many of you have a cross with a dead man on it named Jesus hanging in your house, hanging from your neck? That is a material object. What our father would call an idol. Plus, I understand that, oh, well, you're celebrating the death and resurrection and the deliverance of the Holy Spirit, correct? That's what you're celebrating, right? That's what you're going to tell me. But what I'm going to tell you in return is that Christ has never, never died. There is no way that the spirit of Christ, a spirit in its own, has ever died. Now, there is spiritual death. But I don't, I'm not teaching spiritual death. I'm not going to show you spiritual death. I'm going to show you spiritual evolution. What do I mean about repetitive rituals? Well, repetitive ritual is communion. Repetitive ritual would be showing up to a place to worship our Father every week. You make a designated place for you to worship and pray instead of doing as our Father commanded you to do and which is why he manifested in Jesus for three years to show you exactly how to live. And if you're doing the right thing, even those who are closest to you will turn on you. Communion is just one way out of thousands. There's the cross that I told you about. 
that is a daily ritual, then there's scripture, which we all know that the Bible is not something that you can literally sit here and teach to somebody. Yes, you can help people understand the way that you interpret the Bible, but in manipulating it, not, not manipulating it. No, I'm sorry. Manipulating people with it. Because I've already explained about how a church works and how confession works and how the man that everybody is going to go see would rather you call him father, rather you tell him your sins, rather you get spiritual enlightenment from him, from material objects. But then again, how are the fruits? How spiritually rich are you when you leave these places throughout the week? As you sit there and fight amongst your family, scream and yell at people, climb the backs of other people, ridicule and mock your own family, torture your own family, talk behind the backs of those you say you love. Now, I'm not saying this to ridicule or to hurt anybody's feelings. But think about it. These churches and everything are government funded. The, the, the government gives them the money and then they have a doctrine that they must follow. They can't just teach truth. They can't really teach spirituality because that would teach freedom. So in essence, I believe the church, how Lucifer has implanted it and, and infiltrated it, actually sets up for reincarnation. But the reincarnation process, you're not gaining any spiritual gifts in your life, which is what you take on through reincarnation, which is called ascending Jacob's ladder. I promise you, the only way to do this is to imitate Jesus. He showed us the way, the path, the truth, the light. You imitate that in your thought, in your heart, in the way you treat people. I promise you, brothers and sisters, you will see a change. A change in yourself. You will have your eyes opened even more by just doing this, by having patience and living and breathing. You can't admit in Christ, who is our Father's Spirit, and run around your home acting like you don't exist. Like nobody is saying going to church is bad. I'm saying that it's actually, if you're just turning to Christ and you want a place to start and you need a foundation to start in, that should that's a good place. The people there and everything should set you up with the tools that you need. But then after that, I mean, it's really up to you. It's not up for you, to you going to some building or even because look at me. I don't get nothing from anybody. I don't get respect from anybody. Nobody wants to listen to what I have to say. And it's because it's hard to hear. It's tough to hear. And I understand how rough it is to hear. Trust me, somebody that has been in the church their whole life since they were a child and they're in the church, you have no idea what pain is. 
And as you're living through life, you learn what pain is. And by pain and by overcoming it and forgiveness, you acquire spiritual gifts. That's the problem. Nobody wants to teach you about spirituality. It's funny because I was just thinking that, you know, when, when I make all these copies of the Third Testament to just hand out, um, which I will be doing, the, the best people that would probably understand this knowledge the quickest would be somebody that denies Christ, denies to live as Jesus did, that openly does magic and rituals, those will probably be the best people to convert to this third error. Because errors one and two are done. In fact, error two has been done. And that's why you're seeing what you're seeing now. And yes, the third era of man is what it's called. These people that talk about fifth density and all that, they're going to be talking about 6G here, sixth density here real soon probably. Uh, they're all about channeling and everything like that. Channeling is wrong. Meditating is not channeling. Just sitting there in your thoughts is not channeling. That's what meditating is. Praying in the spirit, which is in your thoughts, feeling it in your heart. That's what it's all about. That's everything. May peace be with you, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Why the real ones get hurt the most? Uh, yeah. Use discernment on your first approach. No, it's always the ones that's close to you. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, why the real ones get hurt the most? Use discernment on your first approach. That's all you need to see. I look like a fool. You see a clown when you think of me. If I seem to doubt you, I'ma pray about you. Probably have a dream about you. I just woke up and I don't want to believe it. And you don't know that I see it. But what if my vision is off? Because I did this before. Making assumptions, am I still insecure? I got flaws, but I'm really decor. I got a heart, but I ain't soft. I'm from Hardy to drive behind poverty lines. As a child, I saw watery eyes, but they hardly would cry. Tattoo tears, but they tortured inside. Why must they target the tribes? When you traumatize, you question who's real. You cut me deep this time and listen, I don't think this ever will heal. I guess I long suffer. Ever been so numb to the pain that they can't hurt you, but you question if you love them the same. But the love still remains, and that's subject to change. But I'm stuck in these chains, or is my mind playing games? Yeah. Uh, why the real ones get hurt the most? Yeah. It's always the one that's close to you. Oh, yeah. What am I supposed to do? Hey. Uh, they say rock, you know you paranoid. Nah, friend or foe, you never know it. You ain't seen what I seen. You ain't walk in my shoes. It's so many people watching our moves. No complaints, this the route that I choose. You fall off, they gon' talk about you. Cause they hate when you win. And they smile when you lose. What you mad? Cause I shine like I do. You shine too and I'm inspired by you. And I've been praying for you. But I'm a long suffer. Long suffer. A loyal friend, do you know the cost of it? You can't put a price on a solid brother. One part of the body suffer, everybody suffer. Didn't Christ tell us love one another? So rock six, eight through eleven. I always had love for my brethren. But I will not fall for deception. Yeah. Why the real ones get hurt the most?